Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com with another video on creating data structures in uh, using JavaScript. So I'm gonna create a new file. This time we're gonna make a queue. So queue.js. Okay, and let's do this class queue. Okay, so there's my class. And again, a queue is more like a line. Okay, so basically, um, if you enter a line, you will go to the end of the line. But only the but the next person to leave the line is a person at the front of the line. So when I add, so unlike a stack where I always added to the end and took from the end because it's a stack of paper, a queue you always add to the end and take from the beginning. So again, uh, let's start off with clearing a private member data equals an empty array. Okay, and then we'll have a constructor. And we will say we'll have an initial piece of data if they want. And so this can start off pretty much the same way. So and we'll just say this dot data. And again, the it's the it's the uh, the hash that makes it private. This data dot push initial. So we'll push the initial value. Okay, and then we'll create two methods for adding and subtracting. Okay, so when we want to add to Q, okay, we're gonna add a new piece of data. And this will be pretty straightforward, just like last time, it's just like push. Okay, this will take this data dot push, the new data adds it to the beginning of the line. And we'll say leave Q. Okay, and this will just take the first one, remove the first item, which would be shift in JavaScript array methods. So that would be this dot, and then I wanna return that value. So return this data dot shift. Okay, and then I'm going to add an inspect method so we can see what's in there. And see, this only logs it, so it does not allow us to access the data, but it does allow us to see what's in there. Console.log uh, this data. Okay. And then just so you know, this is going to be all added to my daily code practice repo. So if you go to my uh, GitHub account, uh, just look up Alex Merced Coder, um, you will find that I have a daily code practice repo and you'll see this computer science or this CS files folder in there. You'll find these files there. Okay, um, cool. So let's see here. Let's create a, a new queue. So const my queue equals new queue. And then we'll have initial data of one. So then we'll say uh, my Q dot enter or add to Q. And we're gonna add two, and then we just add up to four again. Control C, three, four. Uh, There we go. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, then I want to inspect it so we can see that all the contents. My Q dot inspect. And then we'll start removing items. So console.log my stack dot leave Q. And then again, we'll, it should start with the first one. So it should be like one, two, three, four, instead of four, three, two, one. Like it was with the stack. Okay. Mm, oh no, I'm still running the stack file. So node q.js. Oh, and then here we have an error. Let's read it. My stack dot leave q. Don't you like about that? My stack is not defined. Oh my stack 
my Q. There we go. There we go. And there you go. Okay, one, two, three, four. So that we added the items in there. So again, we added those numbers and then shown them that we, they got added. And then we're able to pull those numbers, but they get pulled from the front, kind of like a line of people waiting at the dentist or for an amusement park ride or something like that. The first person in the line goes out first. So that's a queue data structure. So these are two different ways to organize your data or to create structures for managing your data. Um, yeah, there's many more. So we'll see those along in the, in the next handful of videos. I'll see you guys there.